Rick Santorum says he'll fight the Supreme Court on marriage. Sure he will. North Carolina's passed a law allowing officials to opt out of marrying not just gay couples, but all couples. And Texas is shaping up to be the primary battleground once the Supreme Court rules on marriage. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for June 15th, 2015. With the Supreme Court set to rule on marriage any day now, presidential candidate Rick Santorum says that he would fight back against a pro-equality ruling from the Supreme Court. He says that states allowing gay and lesbian couples to marry is a violation of his religious freedom, which is an argument that a lot of people made against interracial marriage in the 1960s. So do couples need to worry about the possibility that Rick Santorum could stop them from marrying? No. For one thing, the president doesn't get to veto Supreme Court rulings. And for another, Rick Santorum will never be president. But statements like these give cover to any group that opposes marriage equality. Last week, an organization of religious officials took out an ad in some newspapers saying that they would defy any Supreme Court order to recognize marriage equality. Can they do that? No, not really. At most, they can use this as an excuse to gather email signatures on a petition, which is exactly what they're doing. This is the work of Rick Scarborough, who has in the past suggested that someone should file a class action lawsuit against homosexuality, so clearly not one of the country's great legal minds. Meanwhile, back in reality, a judge in Arkansas ruled this week that the state must recognize marriages performed during a brief window last year when clerks were issuing licenses. And Lambda Legal has filed a new lawsuit in Texas to stop the state from denying spousal benefits to LGBT government employees. Texas is shaping up to be a battleground state when we get a ruling from the Supreme Court on marriage, with some officials doing what they can to resist equality, and others, like the clerk in Dallas, eagerly awaiting the opportunity to marry queer couples. Also last week, the North Carolina legislature passed a law that would allow government officials to opt out of issuing marriage licenses on the basis of religion. If they opt out, they have to do so for everyone, gay or straight. They'd have to reject all couples. It's worth pointing out that North Carolina has had marriage equality for over half a year at this point with no problems, and a new survey shows public support for marriage equality reaching a new high in the state. That accompanies a new survey from Pew this week showing that support for marriage equality has continued to do what it's been doing for the last decade and a half. Nationally, support for marriage equality is averaging somewhere around 57%, with opposition well under 40. And that's the big reason why any attempt to disobey the Supreme Court will be unsuccessful. There just aren't enough people left who oppose the freedom to marry. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.